you're about to learn my five-step process to turn any e-commerce product from this into this or even this. Okay guys, you have to see what's happening on Metacube's website right now. Wait, why did no one tell me this is the secret to Hailey Bieber skin? These videos were made using 100% AI. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use AI to write scripts that don't suck, creating consistent avatars using Nano Banana, animating your characters using the world's most realistic lip syncing, and a really simple editing workflow that you can start using today to bring everything together. And before you tell me, but Alfie, AI ads don't work, I'm not interested and I've got the data to prove it. Here's an AI creative that I am personally running and as you can see, we have a ROAS of 3.6x. But this isn't just me, brands like Reebok, Goalie and American Eagle have been using AI in their ad campaigns to generate millions of dollars in revenue and the technology is getting better every single day. Today I'll be making an AI ad for Hailey Bieber's beauty line, Road, and the first thing we need is a script. But of course we're not gonna be writing that manually. So I spent about seven hours the other day just absolutely locked in, uploading tons of viral ad scripts to this free GPT from huge brands to smaller brands that just had ads that blew up. And there's honestly millions of these GPTs that claim to write the most amazing copy. But then you actually use them and it just sounds like every single other piece of AI trash. But watch this. So you click this button and it's gonna ask you some questions. So you can see, what is your product or service? Who is your target audience? What is the dream outcome they want? What makes your product better than others? Do you have any testimonials or social proof? And then how quickly can people see results? And these are actually pretty much the only things that the AI or a real script writer will need to write an amazing script. So you can just answer these and let's see what we get. And if you read this, firstly, it's actually a good script, but also check this out. It's given me the entire shot list. Okay, so after a little bit of back and forth, adding in my own magical touch, this is what I've got. And honestly, I think this is really good. I'm gonna throw this in Notion to keep things organized and then I think we're ready to start creating. Since we're using an image to video model, the first step of this process is to actually generate the first frames for every single one of these shots. But don't be overwhelmed, this is actually really simple to do. We're gonna be using Spiel and it's a free trial right now and this part is actually unlimited so you can generate as many images as you want. Once you've signed up, you see you can choose from the actor library and there are tons in here, they all look insanely realistic and you can also upload your own if you prefer. So we're gonna pick one actor and then use our shot list to transform them into the correct first frames. And to do that, I'll select the actor and then click edit image. And now I've got another GPT that writes prompts for Nano Banana, which is the image editing model inside of Spiel. It's insanely easy to use. I'm literally just gonna click this button and then as soon as it's ready, I'm just gonna answer the questions. So I'm literally gonna say something as simple as just write a prompt that makes the woman in the image hold the product in the reference image. And now this is actually gonna give me back a prompt that is optimized for Nano Banana to give me a really, really nice result. Then what I can do is copy that prompt, head back into Spiel, paste it in, and then upload my product image. And to get the best results with that, I would highly recommend using a clean product photo on a white background. Personally, I like to do four variations at a time. Click generate, and then you can just scroll through and I can pick my favorite one. And that is now the first frame for our first shot. And look how perfect the character consistency is here compared to the original, just unbelievable. Okay, so let's repeat this with another shot. Okay, so if we look at shot number three, which is the first part of the transformation, the script is my skin was so dry and then the action is talking to the camera, looking up scared and has dry skin. So they're not actually gonna be talking in this or they'll look like they're talking, but we're just gonna hear the overlay. But what we need here is obviously for them to look upset with dry skin. So we need to create the first shot of that scene. Okay, now notice here that I'm selecting the base actor and not the newly generated image 
to edit. And the reason for that is that there may be a little bit of variation from one image to the next, which is fine. But if you then edit that same image 10 more times, then you're gonna get 10 times the variation. If I just edit the same image each time, I'm gonna completely eradicate that problem. So again, I'm gonna use the GPT to write the prompt for me, throw it back in Spiel, and then generate four new variations. Okay, look how good this one looks. So let's choose this. And this perfectly is gonna work as the new shot, my opening scene. She, she, she looks kind of upset, but it still is perfectly consistent. That is absolutely spot on. And what I could even do here to make it even more engaging is actually have her with a super close up and she's actually touching her skin. Let's, let's try that. Okay, so I've just typed in, make her even closer up, touching her skin whilst maintaining the same uneasy expression. Okay, nice, look at this. So now you can see that I'm kind of beginning to build out my entire storyline for each shot. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. It's coming together amazingly. Now we need to actually turn these images into videos and pull them all together to create our final ad. Okay, so as you can see in my shot list, I've split it into two categories. We have A role and we have B roll. And the A role is just where the character is talking directly to the camera. You can see and hear them speaking. And then your B roll is just other supporting shots. This could be where the actor is doing something else, but then you can hear the voice talking as an overlay. And it's a mixture of both that really make the ad super engaging. We're also going to do everything inside Spiel here since it has all the video models we need. As you can see, there's an easy mode and a custom mode, and we're gonna be using a combination of both to produce our entire ad. So all you need to do is take the first frame you generated in the previous step, upload it in here, and then paste in the line of the script that belongs to that shot. And as you know, I've got everything organized in Notion, so I can literally just copy my script straight across. And now you can see if I'm using custom mode, I actually have a few extra options. I can use text to speech, I can upload my own audio file, or I can even use the voice changer, which lets me record my own voice and then transform it into a target voice. In this case, I actually want the ad to have an American accent, which is probably not gonna work too well for me. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with text to speech. And what's cool about this is that it has every accent and language under the sun like that you could even imagine. So from here, I can browse through the voices. I can use these filters over here to find one that I like, and I can actually preview them until I find one that fits the character really well. My name is Tessa. I would love to make your TikToks. All right, this one sounds perfect to me, so let's go with that. Then I'll add a really, really simple prompt, no need to overthink it. Something like talking naturally with relaxed hand gestures is gonna work fine for this. And once that's all set, just click generate and the spiel will turn that single frame into the full video. And I'm so excited to show you what this looks like. It is insane. Now, whilst that one's generating, I'm not just gonna sit around, I'm actually gonna start on the next one and you can generate multiple videos concurrently. For the hook video, I'm actually gonna be using easy mode. And the reason for that is that I want slightly more complex motion. The model only supports eight seconds compared to custom mode, which does a full minute, but just for the hook, that is absolutely fine. So again, I'm gonna take my line from the script and then add in my prompt. And in this case, I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail, basically what I just described. So I'm gonna type in my instructions here and then I will click generate. And now we're just gonna give Spiel a few minutes to do its thing. All right, so both videos are now ready. So this is the custom mode video. It actually hurt to smile, but this brought it back overnight. Okay, pretty cool. And this is the easy mode video that we're going to be using for the hook of the video. Wait, why did no one tell me this is the secret to Hailey Bieber skin? Honestly, <laughs> this is this is wild. And actually, you may be wondering, well, their voices are different, but don't worry about that. I'm actually going to show you how to fix that a bit later on. Okay, so I've just finished up with the A roll shots on my video. Let's move on to the B roll where the actor is not talking. And these are the ones that are gonna make your ad way more engaging and really tell the story instead of just, you know, someone talking the whole time. So again, referring back to our shot list, let's take a look at the B roll scenes and actually go ahead and create one together. For this one, we are gonna be using easy mode inside Spiel again, because we'll be working with more complex motion and easy mode is just <laughs> very good at that. So just like before, I'll upload the first frame that we generated back in step one. Then I'll add my prompt. 
Now, since this one is all about motion shots, I've actually created another custom GPT that is designed specifically to create B-roll shots. And by the way, every single one of the GMTs we're using in this video is gonna be linked in the description so you can go ahead and use them yourself. So I'm just gonna type in something really, really simple like this click enter and it's going to give you back this super detailed cinematic prompt and it is everything from the lighting to the camera motion it's everything you need in the prompt what i'll do is i'll then copy this head back over to spiel throw it in the action box make sure i've got easy mode selected and click generate and again whilst that one's loading i'm not just going to wait around i'm going to jump straight back in for the next b-roll shot and repeat that exact same process all right, now that every single clip is generated, it's time to actually pull all these together and turn them into an ad instead of just a bunch of videos. I'm gonna be using CapCut for this, and to be honest, I haven't really used this before. I'm actually signing up right now just to show you how beginner-friendly this process is. And anything that I run into, I'll just ask ChatGPT because that's kind of the point. You don't need to be a professional production studio anymore to create ads that convert. So I'm gonna open a new project. I'm gonna throw in all of the clips from our shot list. I'm gonna start building the timeline. And again, I'm just referring back to the shot list that I have in Notion. And here's three really quick tips for your editing process that are gonna make your videos a hundred times better. Firstly, keep the pacing really high. Use lots of small clips with lots of cuts instead of just one long clip. And the second one is to actually speed up B-roll. Often with AI, there's kind of small imperfections. and if you keep them lingering too long, then people will notice and they'll kind of lose trust. But what we can do is just speed them up. Even 20% will really help and just make it look way more realistic. And thirdly, AI isn't perfect yet. I mean, honestly, it's, it's pretty damn good, but it's not perfect. There are some, you know, small imperfections, but just cover them up. If there's an issue with the lip syncing, just show B-roll. And it's okay if you stray slightly from the original shot list you made. All right, so it's looking pretty cool, but the audio is a bit meh. So I'm actually gonna jump over to 11 Labs sound effects. You can access this for free, and it's literally as easy as typing in what you want, selecting the length of the effect, and then just click generate. And let's actually listen to some of these. Okay, <laughs> that sounds amazing. And whilst we're here on the left, you'll see we have this voice changer. And what we can do is use that to ensure that we have the exact same voice throughout the entire video. You might have remembered earlier, we had a slightly different voice between easy mode and custom mode. Just use the voice changer, select one target voice and you are good to go. All right, so now the moment you have all been waiting for, let's watch this ad, let's see what it looks like. Wait, why did no one tell me this is the secret to Hailey Bieber skin? I used Rhodes Barrier Butter once and woke up looking like a glazed donut, but in the best possible way. My skin was so dry it actually hurt to smile, but this brought it back overnight. It's dermatologist developed, fragrance free, and somehow rich without being greasy. If your face is begging for moisture right now, this is your sign. <laughs> okay, so again, every single one of those shots was 100% AI generated using Nano Banana, using a few custom GPTs, and using Spiel. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. It is incredible. And, and have a look at these examples I made the other day as well. Well, geez, these bad boys are quite something. Firstly, they taste amazing. And secondly, they make me feel more alive than ever. Love them. Okay, well, geez, these bad boys are quite something. Firstly, they taste amazing. And secondly, they make me feel more alive than ever. Love them. Well, geez, these bad boys are quite something. Firstly, they taste amazing, and secondly, they make me feel more alive than ever. Love him. Oh, we're doomed. We're doomed. 